Okay, everyone, today I'm going to show you how to gel uh, a badger knot. A lot of people have been asking me, how do you do it? I know you figured out how to do it. How do you do it? How is it done? And, you know, why keep it a secret? Um, you're going to see it's time consuming. And you're going to see that, you know, you can really mess up a knot if you're not careful. But this at least gives everybody the opportunity to decide if they want to buy just a regular badger knot and do their own gelling or take brushes that they already have and gel them or make them a little bit more jelly um, than they currently are or not at all. So first thing I want to talk about is the different types of hair because, you know, and these are badgers. I'll get into the boar on another video because um, I use a different method for the boar because it's a little bit um, more of a harsher hair so it's harder to gel so you got to use a little bit different and stronger strength uh solution so basically we got here it's like the best knot that i've been able to find it's a manchurian two band uh at least what they're calling a manchurian two band uh badger and it's it's different than these two knots these are good knots don't get me wrong they're super high dense knots but this is a knot that I've been able to source, and you're gonna see here in a little bit why, that just produces uh, you know, the most extreme, luxurious gel of all the um, badgers. But you'll also see that each one of these will gel as well. So uh, I wanna to try to keep this video as short as I can so it's easy to upload. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you the solution right now. and. Uh, We'll get this started. So what I like to use is I like to use this, these packets of Rue Violites. They have about seven levels of lift, and that's actually what you're doing, in essence, is you're, you're damaging the hair to get it to hook. So you're lifting, um, you're lifting the levels of color also, or bleaching it is what they call it. But what it's doing is it's splitting the ends of the hair to make it get that hook shape which when a lot of them are hooked, they clump together and form that gel, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute as well after one is done. So these packets are pretty much not being made anymore. I bought a bunch of them. I think I don't think you can find them out there anymore. So if you can't find the Violites, I'm gonna show you something else that can be used that's really good too. Uh, let's see, where is she at? Uh, where'd it go? Just bear with me, guys. I'm trying to find my uh, my other. Oh, there it is. I found this. By, actually, my wife found it by Ion. Okay, it's a cream developer, but you see, it's got eight levels of lift. Let's see if we can get that up there close enough. Eight levels of lift. Okay, so this takes the place of this powder, but you still got to add this developer to it. And I use 40. If you're new at the game, and you and you're just starting out, and you, and you don't want to tear up a knot then go with a 30 developer, okay? Or even 20, like my wife says, 20. Because this just speeds up the process is what it does. It makes them gel faster. But I use the 40 because I've got a little bit of experience behind me and I've done it several times, so I know the time frame and how long to keep them under the gel and how long to, or how, under the, the solution and, and, uh, and when to get them out. Because I'm telling you, you will tear up a knot and I'm gonna show you even the other day, I, I was I was busy, and I got in a hurry, and I forgot about a one knot that I was doing, and it destroyed it. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So you got to be very careful. So what we're going to do is you got your little bowl here. So we're going to take, and I'm going to put. I'm just going to do half of this pouch, and one of these pouches. You know, it goes for anywhere between five and eight dollars, and it'll do about six knots. So we got about half full, or half of the pouch in there. Let me make sure just to be safe. Yeah, I'll put a little more in because I'm going to do these three knots. So then I'm going to take my 40 developer and I'm going to pour it in there. So it looks like this. Let's see if I can turn that camera down to show you. So it looks like that, so it fills it over. And then what you're gonna do with a spoon, don't use a metal spoon, use just a regular spoon and stir it, okay? And I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's done. 
You can see me stirring it here. It'll resemble like yogurt is what it'll look like. Sometimes you can tell if it's too thick, if it if it's if it's um, more like a, a toothpaste or um, what else is kind of a thick substance like that. Um, oh, hard to say. Anyhow, this is the consistency that you want. And it's usually two parts per one, or sometimes one to one. But I've been I've I've learned to eye it up. Okay, so this is what you're left with. Right there. That's what you get after you do it. Alright, so now this is how you do the knot. So let's start with with just one of the regular super high dense two bands. So what I like to do is I like to submerge it. As you can see, I'm submerging it, but don't get it over the white lines because you're going to mess up the look of your bore. So you submerge it to get it to get it down deep into the actual knot. And then what you do is you take a paintbrush like this, and then you just clean up your lines. Hopefully I can get that on camera. You clean up your lines to make sure that it's even all the way around. Okay, it's kind of like frosting a cupcake. And I guess that's why women used to say, can you frost my hair? I think that was probably where this came from. Am I right, hon? Yeah. So it's like you're frosting hair. Okay. So, and this is what the Chinese have done to us Americans for, what now, six years now? Telling us it's some special technique, it's not. It's just simple chemistry. Okay, so I've got this knot done, and I've I've got it down in oh, about about that much on the on the middle of it. I've got it down on the inside. You don't want to go too much, like I said, because it'll tear up your knot. Uh, just because if not, then you get these little bubbly gel tips. You kind of want a nice even, and you can play around with it and figure out for yourself how you like your gel tips. This is how I like mine. So I set it aside. So there's one. Now. You want to watch your time. So it's now uh, 350. So we only want to put these under there for 10 minutes on this strength with the solution I'm using. So here's another one. Because you got to be careful. You'll tear a knot up in a New York minute. Okay, so here's another one here. You see how nice and deep I got it down in there? So then what you want to do is you want to just kind of just grab your your solution and just make sure you get it onto the sides. Nice and easy. Let me try and get it around here where you guys can see it. It's hard to do this on camera. I don't want to tear up another knot because these things can get expensive. And just take it nice and slow and easy. I'm gonna do a little bit off camera so, so it's easier for me to do. And I'll show you what the final outcome looks like. But you want to get it down there nice and good inside so it gets all of your hairs on the inside. Or if you don't want it that jelly and gooey on the inside, then just do the tips. Put a, put a rubber band around it and bring it to like a nice tight ball like that and just do the tips. I like to get, I've done them both ways. I like to get them down in there and uh, and do the whole inside of it too as well. Just like on my bore. And I've had to experiment because I had to change bores. At first I was using an Omega bore and they don't gel as good as the, as the Umo bores that I've picked up. Those do really nice. So, all right, so there's number two. So we're gonna do number three. Now I'm going to show you how you activate them. Let me see, it's in there nice and deep in there. All right. And I think this is something that should be shared with the community. Why should only three or four people hold the secret to this? Or the Chinese, you know? Let everybody know. And some people might be ticked off at me, but you know what? So what? And I don't look at it like I'm hurting my business because there's people that 
would probably still come to me because they don't want to do this. It's You see what a pain in the butt it is. And you can tear a knot up. So there's people that will probably say, well, you know, I, I, uh, I still don't want to do my own. I'll buy them from, from somebody that sells them. Okay, so there you go. So there you have it. So what I normally do is I have this little crate set up that I use. Well, it's kind of like an egg crate. And I'll normally just set them inside there. Like I said, it's like frosting cupcakes. All right. All right, so now they're in the box. You see them in there. So now what you want to do, it's going to be loud. And I'm going to cut this camera off and we're going to come back after I show you the final step here. You want to hit it with a hair dryer, okay? For, well, you want to hit it for a hair dryer for about, you know, five minutes. Get it nice and warm. You just want to keep moving around to the different knots. And you can wear gloves too, because it's bleach. I mean, it won't, your hands might turn white for a few hours and then go away, but sometimes I wear gloves. Okay, and there you have it. I'm gonna shut this off and we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the end result here shortly, okay?